Hello and welcome once again to Stuff and Things Plays. I'm your good friend Bradley and today we're watching, or playing, I guess. It's hard to call this playing. I'm just sort of experiencing an interactive story, I guess. But it's what remains of Edith Finch. We've gotten a lot of interesting information in the last few episodes. We have seen how many people in the Finch household or the Finch family died. So now we are going to Dawn, I guess. And Dawn is Edith's mom. She obviously survived for quite a while. She just died recently, 68 to 2016. We had some weird confusion with Gregory, the little baby, because in the last episode, we sh sh blah, blah, blah. we saw a room that he shared with Don and Gus. But I swear, at the very beginning of the game, when we were first exploring everything, there was a room that said Gregory, and it was open, and it just had one year. Uh, it had his little, you know, day, birthday and death day. And it was like a ocean-themed room or something. Am I remembering that incorrectly? I can't go back and look. I guess I could go back and look, but I'm not going to go back and look. So now we are in Don's room, Edith's mom. Edith is pregnant. She's only 17. It's all the, all the relevant information, I guess. Okay, she's got some pictures. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. Okay. So she's got a picture of her and Gus. She's got some incense. She's got some relics from her father. There's a picture of little baby Gregory. She very much liked India. Very Indian themed room here. Now I can open My mom this. moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. No. Oh. That must be where she met Sanjay. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Oh. 86. Okay, so maybe we're not going to get her story. We're just seeing her room. Okay, there she is, helping out in India. To do. Buy school books. Get. Oh, I can't read that. Get something suitcase. Get me a suitcase. Luke majors English teaching geology. Places to visit. Jodhpur, Red Fort, Taj Mahal. We're helping hands create safe places. Okay, so she was a volunteer. Well, let's look at her calendar here. I love all these all these little details here that you can see. Don Finch, composition notebook, copy passport for volunteer center. Pack, fly to India, meet with uh, relief rep, after school teaching, June 87. So right after she graduated. Now, wait a minute, that says 86. Sanjay. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. So we know a little bit more about Dawn. Ooh. Now I think we're going to get Lewis. So now we're getting up into the crazy tower. The ramshackle part. Can I go down this? No. I think they got some solar panels here. We haven't been in that weird observation dome, have we? All right, let's go when up. My dad died. I don't think mom knew where else to go. Dawn. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. Lewis. Oh, they had their own little garden plots. Edith. And to see kids in the house again. So Edie was just living here by herself. Milton was growing paint cans. Lewis had mint, thyme, sage, and basil. Are those tomatoes? I have no idea. Interesting. This all gives us little hints into the personalities of the various children. Now isn't this where we were jumping had around? A little bigger, but Edie was used to that. <laughs> so they just added this ridiculous tower on. I think this is where we were running around as Molly. Maybe. I can't remember. As a kitty cat. <clears throat> Aha. For a while, things were good. Almost normal. So is this a little schoolhouse for the children? Barbara, Gus, Molly, Sven, Calvin, Sam, Odin, Gregory. So they were learning the history of the family here. Our family history, fact or fiction. Weird. So were they homeschooled? Odin Finch by Edith Finch. 
So she did a little report about her family. Interesting. Scientific method, observation, question, research, hypothesis, experiment, data, and conclusion. I saw something weird appearing on... Looks like there's a little ball of light or something. Do you see that? What is this? What's going on there? Is there anything here to look at? This must be Sanjay, Don, and the kids. <laughs> that picture looks kind of weird. <laughs> okay. Um, is that supposed to be... That can't be Edith. That was a boy, wasn't it? Who's the y youngest? Louis, 88. Edith, 99. Okay. So that must be Edith. Oh, Edith's the baby. Okay, there we go. Oh, Don wrote a book. To Teach and to Learn, Seven Ways to Create a Fulfilling Classroom by Don Finch. So, did they say she was a teacher? I'm forgetting all this stuff. All right, let's go on. Whoa! The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. <laughs> Is this his castle? It says Milton on it. All right, let's go. Uh, we just have it's all blocked off again. We'll have to look through the keyhole. Milton ninety two. Oh yeah, he was the one who disappeared. We never After knew what happened to him. The only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. Uh huh. So he was autistic. Okay. How do we get inside here? Aha! There's a way in. But we'll look around the rest here. This would be awesome if I were a little kid and I had this place. Especially, she said when he was 10. That's insanity. Nice view. Look, there I am in Bellingham. Maybe. I think there's another island in the way. But I swear there's a place where you can view. Or maybe it's on Orcas Island. You can go up. There's this high lookout. And you can see Bellingham from there. Okay. Oh. How do I open this thing? Yeah. There we go. Hmm. Looks like signs of a struggle in here. Or maybe that was just his artistic method. I'm going to smear paint all over myself, strip down naked, and then roll around on the floor. What is that? Oh, it's the roof. There's a pulley system? Could you get up on the roof? And what is this? I think Edie was happy to finally have another painter in the family. A froggy. But look, this is some... How old was he when he died? Or when he disappeared? Say 2003. So he was only 11 when he disappeared. But did he make this model? That's kind of crazy. Looks like he was also into architecture. Alright, let's see what this thing does. Holy hell. That's awesome. Okay, so Milton could possibly still be alive. We don't know for sure that he's dead. More evidence of his work. I thought I saw something else that I could interact with. Maybe that was just a light outside. Okay, no, that was just the rope. I'm liking his work here, people. All right, let's see what happened. <clears throat> Milton Finch in the magic paintbrush. Oh, it's a flip book. Is it? How do I do this? Oh, there we go. What? What did that say? This is an absurdly long flip book. Oh, we're gonna get a hint. Okay. So he was at his easel. I was four when Milton disappeared. Okay, so wait a minute. It showed us he was painting at his easel and there was like a doorway that he painted and walked through it. 
what does that do for us? That doesn't tell us anything. Can I look at this again? Uh, all right, let's go back down. Maybe there's something we can uncover down below. Can't seem to interact with this. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Okay, there was the painting. The painting of a doorway. Oh, wait a minute. Can I get even... Oh, okay, ugh. We're walking down. He walked through that. It was magic. Is that all? We don't get we don't get any more information about him? That's insane. Is there anything behind this? Uh, that can't be it, right? I don't see anything else to interact with. So that's all we're going to find out. I mean, I guess if they if there was information on to where he had gone to in his room, they would have found it by now. So I can't really expect to find anything else out more more out now, but can't blah blah. But it's just weird that yeah, even in the whatever Milton had found in the house, mom didn't want it getting out. Whatever Milton had found in the house. It's just weird that the story was so completely without information. All right, well, we still have higher that we can go. I guess that's what we'll do. We still need to figure out what happened to Lewis. We're about 11 minutes into this episode, so I guess we have time for at least one more story. Maybe this is the last episode. I don't know. Mom definitely blamed Edie. I think Lewis blamed himself. Mm hmm. So Lewis, when he died, was. Uh, I'm not paying attention here. Oh, oh, he was. He survived into an adulthood. <clears throat> so he was 22. So when he died, Edith was 11, and she was four when Milton died. Okay. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room until mom got him a job at the cannery. Ah, uh, yes. All the canned salmon. Let's take a look. Everyone always told me to Ooh. stay out of Lewis's room. Except Lewis. He was a pothead. He's got a bubbler. He's got a legalized poster in there. If he just survived a little longer, he would have lived long enough to see pot be legalized in Washington State. All right, let's see if we can get in here. We got stairs. Also got this little ladder. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go in here first. This totally looks like some stoner's <laughs> hideaway. Is this a... It's a boat protruding from the wall of the house? That's interesting. I don't think this is up to code. I don't know of any building inspector that would pass this. Let's go. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. She's talking about the pot. He liked to smoke the pot. Well, I didn't mean to go out. No, god damn it. Ugh, for feck's sake. For feck's sake. Get back in there. All right. I'm just trying to look around. No, don't do it. Don't, for fuck's sake. I just wanted to look at what was in the aquarium. That's kind of annoying. All right, go further in first. It shouldn't just have me looking at the stairs. Shouldn't make me walk up the stairs. Okay, aquarium. Terrarium. Okay, nothing there. Ooh, trippy, man. I don't know what it is about smoking pot, but it makes people lose all sense of taste, it seems. He's got a fake... Well, I was going to say that's a PlayStation, but it has a cart on the up above up above on the top but the controllers are kind of old playstation-y looking so we can play a video game so he liked to smoke pot play video games worked in a cannery he later got a little more advanced dual monitor setup can we read any of the labels here uh so oliver twist conspiracy or no can't really read all that He's got some sort of prescription drugs. 
Lewis Finch locker contents. And we can also interact with the video game console. He's got his little glass pipe there. Is that pot in there? I can't tell. <laughs> All right, let's see what was in his locker. Dawn. <clears throat> oh, so is this from the cannery? No. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Substance abuse for Nearly pot. Nearly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. Okay. We're doing this. Oh, he's going to, like, cut his hand off. Ugh, I gotta, like... Ugh. But he withdrew part of himself. Cut it. Cut the head. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... Began to... A lot of ellipses in this game. Wander. Can I grab that? Can I do anything with that? Wander. Okay. Where are we going? Is this a video game? It's so weird because you're just kind of having to figure out what you're supposed to be doing. His... How do I do this? How do I make more appear? Oh, here we go. I'm like a dude in a thing. Okay, we're walking around. Mine began to wander. Okay, so now I'm controlling this guy. I asked him to describe it. He We're in a maze. So I'm not Imagine doing the fish anymore. Happened. Actually, I kind of am. I can't see fish. I guess I have to do some back. of the fish. Get out of my way. I'm in a maze. Then something moved. Fish, I can't see. Bats. I'm going to chop your heads off. Bats. And toads. Okay, hold on. Get these fish out of the way. Ugh. Ugh. Get out of here. Fish. Yeah. God damn it. Don't. You're not giving me time. Moving the little man. Okay, where do I go? Oh, here we go. <gasps> skeletons. Dragon skeletons. That have not names. They're, they're called dragon skeletons. I just named it. All right, let's go up here. What else? Fish, you're in my way. Get out of here. Can I just throw the fish? Mm. Oh my god. This is, this is my nightmare. Ugh. Okay, go, go, go. He knew it was all in his head. Yeah. Can I grab this fish? The fish is in my way. Oh, there we go. Oh. Did you see that? Oh. He took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. Uh, I want to see. <sighs> okay, we're going up. <clears throat> Light it. But he found something more. Ooh. This is kind of cool. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. That's what you need. Like a whole new Lewis. Mindless drones. So I let him go on. This is pretty cool. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. So he must have killed himself. I've got to assume. He told me he'd made a new uh -oh. friend. Dougie? Puppy? Are you my new friend? There's another another fire up there. Can I light this fire? I can't go in there. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. Okay. 
Oh, I guess I have to chop this fish. Here we go. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Hello, drummer man. Then he made musicians. <laughs> he was just playing a video game, man. songs for them to play. He talked about starting a band. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Hello. And he was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. You're fuck crazy, man. Just cut your fish. Oh, look. Speak of the devil. He no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. Mm -hmm. So he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for mayor. And he won. Okay. Yay, Lewis. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. Ugh. Sorry, baby, we got a board ship. It became a game for him. Oh my god. Now I'm controlling the boat. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Louisville. He's just playing medieval total war. That's all. St. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality. Started. This is one of the longest stories we've had so far. Minneapolis. Minneapolis. Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Uh oh. Even as his mother pleaded with him. Part of Lewis kept sailing on. Mm, back to the fish. Oh. Alright, we're controlling the boat again. I'm, he's got to have killed himself. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a... Of a handsome queen? Handsome queen. I, I'd go for the handsome queen. Fish, you're in my way, man. Mm. I want to know what happens, man. And a... The queen was on her own quest for... Sinister serpents. Why would you be questing for sinister serpents? I guess we'll sinister find out. Sinister serpents. Uh-oh. Whoa. The sound of her electric guitar or sitar. Let's go silver harp. Silver harp. Can I take a sharp turn down if I want to? No, no, no. It's not gonna let me. Okay, we're going up. Oops, I'm missing the musical notes. Ugh. Come on now. Chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. All right. Even then, his logic <clears throat> remained sound. Is this the handsome queen? Oh. He knew the world was all in his imagination. But. Uh. Go away. He's so proud of having created it. Ugh. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. He should have become a video game designer. Yeah. Get these fish out of here. To someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. 
then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My Sorry, I'm just... imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It's a good point, Lewis. Uh, I'm just paying attention to the story it's here. Hard to argue with. And here he is at the cannery. Okay, that was pretty cool, pretty surreal. And now I guess we're going to get the conclusion here. This looks a little grim, doesn't it? This is his locker. He's got a video game system. Looks kind of like one half of a DS. Uh, okay, what does that say? Imperial Palace Order. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Began okay. to the world we know. Uh oh. He's gonna be chopped up in the cannery. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. Is this Lewis that we're looking at here? He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. Yep. Hey, buddy. Uh, you're not doing anything, my friend. Can I push him into the chopper thingy? Okay, it looks like we're supposed to go in here. I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. The fucked up thing is this is after he gave up smoking pot. <laughs> Including the wise Calico who'd insisted on advising him. It's like the end of Star Wars. This is by far the longest story we've had here. the most visually interesting as well. It's very cool, this little video game within a video game. His queen waited, holding his crown. There was only one thing left to do. She's got a little junk in the trunk, man. Oh boy. Can you see where this is going? Uh that's that's a guillotine, my friend. But it's not a guillotine, it's a fish chopper. Oh my god. And the rest I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. Well then. I guess we figured out what happened to Lewis. I wish you could have met him. Okay. Uh, well, that was kind of crazy. So we can interact with the video game console. I'm wondering what this will do for us. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. <laughs> Literally. All right. Well, wow. We have figured out what happened to pretty much every Finch now. We know that Odin drowned. We know that Edie... Actually, did we ever figure out how Edie died? I don't know that we did. Walter supposedly got hit by a train after being a bunker boy for most of his life. I still don't know about the whole train thing because, as I said, it's on an island, a little island. I don't know if there's a train at all. And anyway, the train tracks just sort of dead end to, at a cliff. So why would a train be on it anyway? Sam died in a hunting accident or a, I guess, a karmic sort of thing with a deer. Uh, Calvin... On the swing, Barbara maybe murdered by home invaders, not sure. 
Molly ate a bunch of weird shit and killed herself accidentally. Gregory drowned in a bathtub. Gus was killed by a flying tent at a wedding. Um, Don, we still don't really know how Don died. We don't necessarily know what happened to Kay, if she survived or if she died. Sanjay died, but I don't think we know how, or maybe she did mention how, but it was very early on. Lewis chopped his head off at the cannery because he thought he was being crowned by a mystical, magical queen. Milton walked into a painting and was never heard from again. Edith is alive. She is 22 weeks pregnant, and she is 17 years old. That's what we got so far, gang. But I think it's going to take one more episode to come to the conclusion of this story. So, until next time, until we meet again, I've been your Crypt Rambler. You've been the other things, please. I'll see you later. So trippy.